And one way to cool off from the heat is to enjoy ice cream. So today we are hosting Ice Cream Sunday. We'll be taste testing traditional and crazy ice creams from around the country. I wonder how many people looked out the window when they heard that music and said, already? <laughs> uh, welcome to the Weekend View on this day before the 4th of July. I'm Jen Carfagno. Here's our seven-day outlook. I like the strawberry shortcakes. Oh, I like these. Oh, I like these. Let's see. I think we definitely have some yeah. inbound cooling effect yeah. there. What do you call that? <laughs> because of flow boundary. Outflow boundary. <laughs> Those were scenes from the Great Tornado Hunt. Were they hunting storms or scoops? It is Ice Cream Sunday here on the Weather Channel, celebrating National Ice Cream Month. And Dr. Greg Forbes, yes, he's a storm expert. He is also, though, an ice cream expert. He's going to join us. We're going to taste some of the craziest and the best and the classic flavors of ice cream from around the country, and we're going to give him a grade. Is it one scoop or four scoops? That's coming up. We've got the scoops lined up. Our freezer is packed, and we're going to uh, be tasting, taste testing throughout the morning right here on Weekend View. You know, there's a, a couple of cool things about ice cream. Did you know that ice cream actually dates back to, well, B.C., but Alexander the Great enjoyed snow, and uh, he used honey and nectar to flavor what he, I guess, would consider ice cream at that time. Well, snow, if you want that, we've got plenty of it out there still. People are still skiing. Our seven-day outlook. And it is Ice Cream Sunday here on Weekend View, half past the hour. It is the day before the 4th of July. Our table is set, our freezer is stocked, and we're going to do some ice cream testing all morning long. What a, what a great morning for us. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about this. <laughs> I'll take it. So it is Sunday, and did you know uh, ice cream, actually most of the ice cream is sold on Sundays across the country. We've got all kinds of interesting tidbits for you right here this morning. We're going to taste vanilla, chocolates, pizza ice cream, champagne, even horseradish. Yeah, there are some pretty wild ones uh, that showed up out here. So then they're not all big national brands either. A lot of these uh, are actually mom and pop kind of creameries, places that a lot of us know as uh, our favorites. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, ice cream will actually just be one way to try to keep cool if you're uh, kind of going crazy from the heat. Our week ahead. ice cream is sold on Sunday than any other day of the week and Americans eat more ice cream per capita than anywhere else in the world. So no doubt you've got some ice cream in your freezer. We've got a stocked freezer right here and you know what? We're going to be bringing it to you live all morning long with taste testings right here outside on the Weather Channel. And Todd, you know, I don't know if an ice cream man is considered a hot job. You know, they're in those ice cream trucks all day, but we've got some hot jobs to talk about, right? Ooh, we do. And actually, I, I don't know. The, the job's a great one, but the idea of that music playing all day would drive me crazy. Of course, there are many ways to cool off, one of which is a bit tasty, right, Jen? Oh, that's right. National Ice Cream Month is July. Ice Cream Sunday. Why not here on Weekend View? We are celebrating all things frozen. We've got a freezer stocked full of ice cream, some great treats, some ice cream that, you know, this graters, it, it, they only make two gallons of this at a time. It is that rich and, and creamy. So we're going to talk about the ice cream. We're going to taste it all. In fact, taste testing coming up. And we've got some fun facts throughout the morning to share with you about ice cream. It is quite a history. And the first ice cream cone produced in 1890 in New York City by Italo Marchioni. Although Ernest Hamway at the same
St. Louis World Fair in the 1904. He also claims that he may have created the first ice cream cone. So a little bit of controversy there. Either way, Joy today is the largest manufacturer of ice cream cones, and they make 1.5 billion cones a year. We love ice cream. We asked you what kind of ice cream do you love on our Facebook pages this morning, TVC Jen Carfagno and TVC Todd Santos. Well, Jason says that Cobb's Frozen Custard in Wisconsin, any flavor there is amazing. It sounds great, and I like custard because it's less fattening than ice cream. All right, we have another comment from Liz. She says that Blue Bunny used to make chocolate cherry blast. Oh, so good. And then she says they wish they'd bring it back. Well, we actually have some chocolate cherry combination, I think, in our freezer today. So we'll be talking more about it all morning long. We have some special guests, too, to do some taste testing. Plus, coming up, we've got your forecast for the 4th of July. And one way to cool off from the heat is to enjoy ice cream. So today we are hosting Ice Cream Sunday. We'll be taste testing traditional and crazy ice cream from around the country. We're having some fun here in Weekend View. Welcome back. It is the day before the 4th of July. I'm Jen Carfagno. And I'm Todd Santos. Uh, yeah, again, all these festivities going on. Uh, lots uh, this weekend. Everyone has their fingers crossed, hoping for good weather. <laughs> that was Dr. Greg Forbes and Mike Bettis on the Great Tornado Hunt. They're back in town, and actually, they're going to join us today for Ice Cream Sunday here on Weekend View. We are celebrating all things ice cream. You know, they were out there searching for storms, yes, but they were also searching for ice cream in every possible stop they made. We're going to talk about ice cream today we've got our freezer stocked full of ice cream from around the country all the vanillas all the chocolates and all the crazy flavors like horseradish ice cream and then we're going to rate them we're going to give them a score anywhere from one scoop to four scoops today based on well how much we like them and we'll be rating them throughout the morning so a lot of fun stuff here and we've got some great facts about ice cream a lot of lot of knowledge i did not know about ice cream sunday believe it or not is the day where more ice cream is sold than any other day of the week and it's all coming together for me now so why is an ice cream sundae called an ice cream sundae well the very first ice cream sundae was actually created on a sundae and only sold on sundays it was a scoop of ice cream with chocolate on top and then a young girl uh, 10 years old on another day of the week said why can't we have ice cream sundaes every day and that's how we call them ice cream sundaes cool stuff out there i know gets me in the mood for some ice cream today todd are we going to see enough heat to make folks in the mood for ice cream all week long uh, pretty much anywhere in the lower 48 yet i think is the easy answer to that one and Todd, for our ice cream sundae, we have ice cream from all around the country, the mom and pop ice cream shops, and those are the most unique flavors. Those are the ones that people are telling us on our Facebook pages this morning that it's the best ice cream that they've ever had. That's the question we're asking you in our poll question. You can hit us up on Facebook, TVC Jen Carfagna or Todd Santos. And a couple of responses this morning. One from Mike. He says, one time I made some Bailey's Irish ice cream with uh, for a party. He was afraid he might get pulled over for having an open container of ice cream. All right, another response coming in from Amy Rutledge. She says, Leon's frozen custard in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Amazing. It sounds great. Another one from Jason. He says, homemade at my grandparents' house. No comparison. We might have some homemade ice cream here today. We'll be back with more on Weekend View. The Week Ahead. that music. Uh, you gotta love it though today. We are celebrating National Ice Cream Month here on Weekend View. It is Ice Cream Sunday. Look at our freezer stocked with fantastic flavors. How about champagne ice cream, maple bacon ice cream? Ooh, that's the one I'm most excited about, that and pizza. Well, that's like breakfast and dessert like, combined. Know, right? Do we have pizza ice cream? <laughs> yes, I think we, so. Oh, we do. We have so <laughs> many. We have 32 flavors in that freezer. It's going to be a fun morning here. We're going to talk about the ice cream and actually talk about the history of ice cream too. And then do some taste testing, bringing in a couple of guests to celebrate. Yeah, and you know, ice cream is just one way to uh, try to keep cool again if you're going crazy from the heat. Here's our seven-day outlook. Look. 
And you know, American colonists were the first to coin the term ice cream. The name came from the phrase ice cream with the D on the end, kind of like iced tea, but then they abbreviated to shorten it and just say ice cream. And that's how what we call ice cream today. We've got some great flavors out here outside in the plaza, outside of Weekend View at the Weather Channel. We've got all the fantastic mom and pop shops ice cream. This one is Berkeley ice cream, ice cream cookies and cream. We have got horseradish ice cream and Max and Mina's from Flushing, New York. Their ice cream is so good, they don't even need a label on it. People know where to find it, where to get it. We've got Death by Chocolate, another one from Berkeley, and we've got Ginger Ice Cream. This one from M.T. Tom's East Hampton, Massachusetts. This will cleanse your palate. We'll have to do that in between the horseradish and the champagne. So, you know, scooping this ice cream has got to be a hard job. You go into an ice cream parlor and, you know, these people have to have some muscles. That's a tough job. Another tough job? Well, Todd's taking a look at that one. Ooh, yes, Jen. Uh, they may actually need some ice cream, and I think that uh, Mountain Tom's is the one that uh, Eric Fisher is a big fan of. He's driven way out of his way to look for that one. Things you can do to cool off, and of course, one of those things is, well, eat a tasty treat, and Jen has more on that. All right, Alex, ice cream sundae here on Weekend View. We've got all kinds of crazy flavors to taste test out here on the Weather Channel Plaza. I've got pizza. Max and Mina from Flushing, New York, they have a pizza ice cream. Let me tell you, it smells like pizza. There are chunks of dough in this, uh, pizza dough. It smells like pepperoni, I think. I don't know. Anyway, we've got a great morning plan for you. You've got some special guests here to do some taste testing coming on up. And we've been talking about some of the fantastic flavors that you like. It's one of the questions we've been asking you. We've got some great fun facts, too, about ice cream. Let's show you what one of those fun facts that one of our single scoops out there. You know, for folks who love ice cream, you have to go way back to the second century BC to look at ice cream's origins. And and it's popular ever since. It actually was pretty rare and exotic until about 1800. Normally just the rich got to have ice cream. But now uh, after, let's see, 1813, Dolly Madison served it. And after that, well, the rest is history. We all get to eat ice cream. Our poll question today is what is the best ice cream that you've ever had? We've had some great answers on our Facebook pages. Keep them coming. Here's a couple of responses. The Cheesecake Fantasy from Cold Stone with dipped in a dipped chocolate waffle bowl. Wow, that sounds great. Now we have another one and I've seen a couple of this one, Mackinac Island Fudge Ice Cream Rules. This comes to us from Rich. Thanks so much for your responses and I have to try that Mackinac Fudge Ice Cream because a couple people have told me about it. I've, we brought in some of our, our best ice cream experts, <laughs> Dr. Big Forbes, severe expert. He likes ice cream and Mike Bettis knows it firsthand. Well, he's the ice cream expert. We go tornado chasing, all he wants is ice cream all day long. It keeps, <laughs> it keeps him fueled, I think, for, for forecasting. Every convenience store stop, it's ice cream bar. All right, so this works out well today, of course, for our ice cream sundae. And we have another special guest as well, Joplin. The, I didn't know we were having doggy ice cream this morning, so I brought my dog. I need to fatten her up a little bit, so I'm excited she's going to have ice cream today. All right, what flavor are you looking forward to? All of them. <laughs> yeah, I've never met an ice cream didn't like. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back with more on Weekend View. Stay with us.